Perhaps no creature at the zoo has a more complicated social structure than chimpanzees, with a very strict hierarchy based on personalities, aggressiveness, age, sex, and even factors that we don't yet understand. It's very important that a young chimpanzee quickly learn its place in the pecking order if it's to be acclimated to an established chimp group. Now the North Carolina Zoo has two young chimps going through that socialization process, but taking very different paths. Keeper Supervisor Jennifer Ireland tells us more about Ebby and Nori, two chimps born 17 months apart, but being raised in very different ways. In August 2010, the North Carolina Zoo welcomed a brand new addition to our chimp troop. Her name was Nori and her mother was Maki. And initially, we noticed some problems with the way that Nori was being raised by Maki. The keepers worked really closely with Maki for about four or five days to try to improve her maternal skills, but we didn't see the type of improvement that we needed to see in order for Nori to survive. So the zoo staff then made the decision to pull Nori for hand rearing. Now hand rearing is a very intensive process, it requires 24-7 care of the infant chimpanzee. So the keeper staff, an especially trained group of volunteers, were brought in to help raise Nori. We put her in the large group at four months old. She's been in there ever since. In January 2012, in the North Carolina Zoo had another female chimp named Ebby, and she was born to Tammy. Tammy is an experienced mother. Tammy's doing a fantastic job. She's doing exactly what a mother chimp should do, and we hope that it continues. Despite the difference in their histories, keepers say Nori and Ebby have both been accepted by the rest of the zoo's chimp troop and should live long and happy lives. If you'd like to learn more about chimpanzees or any of the other animals at the zoo, please visit our website at nczoo.org. I'm Rod Hackney reporting for The Zoo Files, connecting your life to wildlife.